my god. Hello, world of YouTube. It's your boy BTJ135 coming back with uh, part five, six, I don't even know, of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask playthrough. Oh my gosh. It's been a minute, huh? <laughs> uh, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, Mask. Right, I was doing Mask. Oh my god, I've been playing. Fuck. I've not played this game this in a while. I'll just say that much. Um, I've been doing other stuff, dealing with my mother, and uh, I don't want to talk about what happened with that, but. Uh, it's it's okay. She'll be fine. I'll just say that much. Uh, other than that, yeah, I've been living life. Ah, <laughs> oh, but you did see that Pokemon battle, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. I hope uh, there are going to be more of that to come. Um, what the hell do we need to do? Let's see. Okay, we need to go to the s the Mountain Temple, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, Jesus, let me think. Okay, what do we have? Nothing. I don't have shit. Oh, all oh right, masks. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I know what to do. 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 I don't know what to do. Just give me a sec to get everything together in my head. How to how to how to how to how to how to him how to how. Okay, we're gonna go and get some stuff. We're gonna go adventure to the mountain. We have the bow and arrow, right? Right. So we don't need to be in clock town right now. Um, yeah, for no reason. So we're gonna go to the. Is this the mountain way? Yep. It's dangerous to go along. Take this. Magical sword. I don't have a magic sword. Um, just so you guys know, there is a sword upgrade that we can get later, but, uh, that actually is on the way here, but, um, we can't do that just yet. Alright, so let's head down here. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna bomb some Dodongos. <laughs> yeah, it's a Dodongo. But, I don't have any bombs, actually. You guys can't see that. Though. I'm gonna kill this thing. Right Take some of my jump slash. Whoa! Okay. I need you to calm it. Wait. I have no inventory right now. There we go. I have like zero arrows, zero bombs. It's it's really bad. You guys can see that. Come on. And one more. Damn. This guy takes forever to kill. Good thing they're stupid. There we go. Now, he's gonna blow up. So put your shield up and get the monies. Fifty dollars. All right. Uh, give me a sec, guys. There we go. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Shit. Watch what Tetsuo says. Up there, take a look at this. I bet if you had a weapon that was strong enough, one shot from it could pierce right through this. Well, it might take two shots. I don't have any arrows, so I need to go get some real quick. Let's go to... Uh... Ooh, that looks interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should write that down real quick. I can get some money. Okay, give me a sec, guys. <laughs> no pad. Alright, so... L X A Y A A A R. Okay, let's do this. L X A Y A A A R. Ooh, money. Cool. All right then. Yeah, there are certain walls like that. Um, they had that in Twilight Princess as well. Uh, not Twilight Princess. What the fuck is it called? Uh, a, a skyward sword where you would like draw a sky symbol or something or another. I forgot how it goes. Okay, that's an arrow. Uh, get some bombs so I can bomb so goes And more arrows. Okay, I got 30 arrows. I'm good now. Oh, wait a minute. Give me a sec, guys. I need to get the arrow quiver. I didn't do that yet. Oh my lord, I need that. Hold on. We're gonna go get the arrow quiver. I need to do that. Um. It's not over here. <clears throat> uh, uh. That would be this way? No, it's this way. It's this way. Yep. Okay. We're gonna go bomb some Dodongos. No. <laughs> We're gonna get the arrow quiver. So let me just, uh... uh. It's over here. Let's get that real quick. Cool beans. 
All right, the t town shooting gallery. Yeah, if you think you're gonna do it, why not? Why don't you give it a try, Sonny? It's uh 20 rupees. All right, Sonny. The rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose time. So watch out. You can use as many arrows as you like. Press the B to shoot them. All right. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you win a spectacular prize. Good luck. Fuck that. I'm getting 50. All right. Actually, fuck that. I'm using the gyroscope. Screw that shit. So much faster with the gyroscope. I actually have to look at the 3DS for this because I was looking at the screen before. I can't. I need to focus. Actually, let me turn off the 3D real quick. That's going to help. See, if I had the new 3DS, I could keep the 3D on and still use the gyro, but I'm uh, fuck, fuck, uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I almost fucked up, dudes. Oh, shit. Talking and stuff. Ah! Talking and stuff. You don't want to miss any, like, for real. Okay. That's pretty simple. Okay. Let me position myself here. And, and, uh, and, uh. All right. oh, oh, my God. Look at all this shit. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, huh. Huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And okay. One. Uh. 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 Okay. And uh. 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 I got it. I did it. Perfect. Yeah, baby. Whew. First try. Gyroscope. <laughs> well, look at that. You hit 50. That's a new record. Well, here you go. You got the large quiver. Now you can carry up to 40 arrows. Yeah, baby. You score 40 plus points at the town shooting ground. Your prize was a your prize was a bigger quiver. Yeah. The man from the town shooting gallery in East Scotland. He's proud of his shop style's ocean decor. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. Now we're ready to roll. Now we can go to the temple. I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's go ahead back. Um, actually, this is well. I could have went the other way. It doesn't matter. We need to go left, right? No, actually, this way. No. Oh, we're in the fucking reverse. No, no, no. This is the right way. This is the closest way, I guess. Damn. I can't wait to get my Goron. Um, my Goron. Um, my Goron. Uh, uh, my, my, uh, fuck, what am I trying? The Goron Mask. Let me just stock up real quick. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, don't need to know where about that. All right, check out my sniping skills. Check this out. What? From all the way down here, though? From all the way down here, though? You like them sniping skills, boy? All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to hop down here. Walk past him. Not going to bother him because we don't need to talk to him because he's crazy and he won't bother us because he's done with it. We're going to go up here. I'm going to go through here. And here we go. On to Snowfall? Snowhead? It's Snowfall. It's Snowfall. Snowfall. Uh, well, no, it's not yet Snowfall. And that's a tech tight. Get out of here. I like the redesign that they give them, too. These are, this is a new tech tight design. Alright, as you can see, nothing happens when you slice it or you shoot an arrow at it. But you can plant a bomb and it'll blow up. In a second. There you go. But uh, we're not going to worry about that because there's nothing in these, I believe. So we don't have to uh, deal with these. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna keep progressing on head. However, right here we need bombs, and Tatil will say, "Hey, we need bombs to progress." And we did get the bomb back in the last episode, I believe. So yeah, yeah, we did. Yep. So we're good to go. Just progress, keep keep it moving, keep it moving. Don't worry about tech ties. Let's read the sign. What does it say? Mountain village ahead. Beware of blizzards and deep snow. Goron should be able to break the snow borders. Yeah. Well, I'm not a Goron yet, so I can't do that. Oh, shit, actually, wait a minute. Is that gonna work? Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, it's this way. Okay, I'm not even looking at the map on the bottom screen. <laughs> oh, well. And now, 
Welcome to Mountain Village. Well, part of Mountain Village. Normally, it's not like this. This is actually kind of how it looks outside. Like, right now, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, and it's cold, too, man. Like, in my room right now, it's freezing. Ugh. Well, it's not freezing. It's tolerable. It's cold, though. All right, let me just... Uh, oh, right, right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm so used to hitting the thing in the old game. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we can say it real quick. It doesn't really matter. All right, I'm going to slice this up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Wait, actually, no, I need that. Oh, shit, I only have one bottle, guys. Wait a minute. What? I only have one bottle? That's not good. Hmm. Hmm. I need more than one bottle. Come here. Let me think. Okay, well, we saved. Let me go get another bottle, guys. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, let me think. How do I get a bottle? How do I get a bottle? Okay, you can get a bottle from... Um, that one side mission, or you could, uh, get a bottle from Romani Ranch, I think. I don't remember. I think you do. Yeah, you get a bottle of milk. I think she gives it to you. And we haven't done that yet. We don't have the ability to do that yet. But, I can still do that mission. That's gonna take a while, though. Hmm. Okay, guys, stick with me here. We need to get another bottle, because up here, I'm gonna explain why real quick because you guys be like oh BJ we just want to get to the mission I understand but <sighs> don't worry about that up here is a secret route to um, uh, a grave site slash hot spring water route and I'm gonna show you right now it looks like there's nothing on the wall here right go check this out whoa I'm spider-man what the hell how am I doing that there's nothing here that's because it's invisible you can't see it yet. And there's a spring up there. We can't get up there, though, uh, the correct way, because actually, I know it's there, but I can't remember, like, the exact stops and everything, because I'll fall to the ground. But, um, regardless, there's hot spring water up there, and we need to use that to melt, um, certain things in the Goron Village to progress the game. So, let me just think. What's the fastest way to get... I guess that is the fastest way. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Uh, let me just follow the route. Okay, you could do that and then go through there. I just have to make sure to get the. Did I did I get Kafai's mask? Okay, I do have Kafai's mask. Okay. Um, give me a minute, guys. Oh, poor Link. <laughs> oh, jeez, here it comes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, you know what? Give me a sec, guys. We're gonna go get another bottle. This is super important. I'm not even kidding. We need another bottle for real. So, we're gonna go, hmm, let me just think one more time. Okay, you get a bottle from, um, the Zora thing, but we can't do that yet with the beavers. You also get a bottle with that one, which I'm gonna do, I think that's the fastest way. And I think you get one of Romani Ranch, but we can't even enter the ranch right now to do that. So yeah, I think this is the fastest way to get another bottle. Um. Um, you get another bottle as well, dealing with Milk Road, when you have to talk to the Gorman brothers, but yeah, this is probably the fastest way, yeah. okay. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, let me show you guys a little secret real quick. Back here, as soon as I get back here, there's a kid hanging back here. His name is Kafai, but he's actually not a kid, he's an adult. See? That's Kafai. He's gonna see us. And he's like, wait, who rung that bell? If we try to go over there, even with the bunny hood, he'll go right back in there. And close the door. And lock it. We can't get in there. But, we're going to, uh, actually, in doing this, I might be able to get quite a few things. So, I'm probably gonna stick Snowhead in, like, I don't know, probably gonna do half of Snowhead and then half of the other one. Anyway, we gotta get, we gotta get some stuff, guys. So, hold on. Um, we're probably gonna get the postman's hat, the Keaton mask. Let me see if I can do this right. Okay, we're still in the beginning. Hmm. I need to... Oh, actually, is that where he's going right now? Yeah, he is, he is. You know what, let me go there. I'm not a Goron, so I can't do that. But I know for a fact, I should be able to still get Andrew's, um, note. So let me see. 
She's not here yet. Okay. Um, give me a minute, guys. Okay. If you guys hadn't noticed, I um did some research on this game and I pretty much put everything into memory. So now everything is almost perfectly plotted out so that we can speed the uh, let's play along. All right, now we're waiting for I, I changed the clock time back to normal um so that he can move faster and I can get in here and she okay there she is all right uh let me see I'm gonna let him talk to her real quick so you guys can see what this uh, side mission is about so in comes the postman we don't want to talk to him until he gets to Andrew and then you'll kind of get like uh, what her story is about uh, 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 um, what is this? Here are you, here you are, today's mail. Uh, wait, this letter, where'd you get it? From the post box. Th that's not what I mean. From the post box where? From the post box somewhere. That's not what I mean. <laughs> She's trying to find Kefai herself. And, uh, the postman's just, um, okay, that got added to the thing. Alright, and the postman's just doing his job. And he also knows what the situation is because he's close with the mayor's wife and the city of the in itself. Now, I'm going to put this mask on. She's like, you're also looking for Kafai? I have a request. Kafai, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. So, this is a little bit of the Andrew and Kafai side quest. You get a lot of masks and a lot of stuff for doing this, but I'm not going to do it right now because we don't have the necessary things. Hey, do you think you can remember the time they just told you? If you're worried, you might forget. I can give you a little reminder when that time comes. Just open the bomber's notebook and set alarm from the schedule screen, then set it to whatever time you want to remind you about. It's good to set alarms a bit earlier than the time of the event so you're not late for any appointments, but that's really your call to make. Uh, originally she didn't have an alarm in the original game, and I guess they did that to make the game a little bit easier. I like this little walking down the steps animation. That's pretty cool. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to trip. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to, um, to, um, uh, uh, to, to tonight. So, wait, let me show you guys on the bottom screen. I guess I can show you the bottom screen for now. All right, so we're going to skip ahead to, um, she said 1130. We're going to skip to, uh, 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 well, I guess I can show you what happens. So we're going to skip, let me just skip this part here. We're going to skip to 11, and we're going to go back inside. It's now nighttime, 55 hours remaining. We're going to go literally right back inside. Run down the, oh, shit, there she is. <laughs> but we're going to make it there before her, though, because we are faster than her. So, here's the nasty, dank-ass kitchen with fucking bugs everywhere. Disgusting. Who would stay here? This is like a one-star hotel. This isn't even a star hotel. Well, no, it's... it's it's. Then again, this is an, an older time with no technology or TV or games or anything like that, so I guess that's understandable. It's kind of like a pagan town. <clears throat> Anywho, so let's talk to her. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Kefai. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here's my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew's waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I... I can't go on. Can I ask this of you? Sure. I already got to go sign my. I mean, <clears throat> thank you very much. So we got the letter to Kafai. Quick, deliver it to her. De uh, deliver it. Deliver it for her. Take it to a mailbox. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the longest side quest in the game. But I'm only just doing a bit of it because I need a, a, a bottle uh, just so I can um, do things a little bit easier. So yeah. We're going to go ahead, we don't even have to wait till tomorrow, we can just go ahead and put it in a mailbox now. And the fastest mailbox to put it in is back up these steps, around this door here, hop over the gate right here, and lo and behold, a mailbox! There you go. And now you just talk to the mailbox, and you put the mail in. And there you go. Now, what we're going to do is skip ahead till about, mm, I think it was 1.15 tomorrow? 
I don't remember. But regardless, we're gonna skip ahead. There's three ways to skip in this game. You can use the song of double time, you can listen to Andrew's grandmother's story, or you can talk dance with the scarecrow tonight or to dawn. But we're just gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the second day. And Dawn of the second day. 48, 48 hours remaining. And now we're gonna skip ahead a little further to um I'm just gonna try I can't remember if it's three or one. So I'm gonna skip ahead to one real quick and see if we can get in. If it's um if it's um if it's uh shit. I'm just gonna put it at one. I don't remember, honestly, guys. So give me a minute here. I'm hoping I'm not screwing this up because this is actually a very sp specific pattern that you have to follow in order to do this right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, where's the postman? Hmm, he's not here yet. Interesting. Okay, maybe I maybe I did the wrong time. Maybe it is three. I don't remember. Let me see. You, you can tell he didn't get the letter because the door will be locked. So let me just see here. Can I get in here? Nope, it's still locked. Okay. And even if I ring the doorbell, he'll still be scared of me and won't let me in. Because he didn't get the letter yet. So, I'm just trying to think. If it's three, because he didn't, he, the door is still locked, so it probably is three. Do we hear the postman? Nope, just the game music. Well, time actually goes super fast in this game compared to the original game. Actually, from what I've done some research on, they say that when you play the song of uh, Inverted Time, it's actually the same speed as the old game normally. So, the Inverted Time on the old game is even slower than in this game. So, it's like... What the hell? <laughs> I kind of noticed that too, because like, look how fast it is. It's almost going to be three o'clock, guys. Like, what the hell? In this game, the inverted song of time is absolutely necessary. In the old game, I don't think it's that much necessary. But also because this game runs at a faster pace, um, like a, a frame rate and everything, it takes a little bit more time. But uh, yeah, there's the postman. So we're going to go ahead and um, push this frog over into the river because I'm evil. He hit the bell there. Out comes Kafai. Um, get, get in the fucking river. There. Done. All right. Now we're gonna skip ahead. Oh no. Let me get in here before he gets in. There. there we go. All right. See, now that he's gone, we can get back in here. This is where Kafai actually stays. So we're just gonna wait for him to get back in. It's not gonna take that long. I can't look in here yet. I'm gonna show you guys a little Easter egg that uh, Game Explain showed off. <clears throat> and here he comes. Hey, Kafai. Turn around. Green hat, green clothes. Andrew wrote about you in her letter. Seems you are looking for Kafai. Can you keep a secret? Absolutely. Andrew trusts you. I shall also trust you. <gasps> it's Kafai! I am Kafai. The Kafai we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. Son of a bitch, Skull Kid! Mm! But now I'm but, but I'm hot hiding because I look this way. When I turned into this, I went to see the Great Fairy at her shrine near the North Gate. But only, but on my way there, a man hanging around the gate, a prancing man in a white shirt. He stole my precious medic wedding ceremony mask. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Damn, Tato! Fuck you! <laughs> I was so happy before all this. So excited for my wedding that I got careless. I was distracted and those punks took advantage of me. Oh my, I pity you. Tatil's just kind of a bitch to this shit. <laughs> anyway, I know Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant. Give it to Andrew. You accepted the pendant of memories! Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyway. Please, keep what you just talked about a secret to everybody. Ah, uh, it's a secret to everybody! <laughs> he strikes to the old Legend of Zelda NES game, it's a secret to everybody. It's dangerous to go along to- okay. 
I'm so stupid. A testament of love. The mysterious boy turned out to be Kafai. He gave you the pendant of memories to give to Anju, who is waiting for him. Dun, 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 dun. Kafai, a mysterious boy who lurks around the laundry pool. He's actually an adult who engaged in the lovely Anju. Alright. Things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on the crate and peek into that hole. From here, I can check out the curiosity shop's customers. And uh, you can use the gyro, or you can use the uh, the thing in the jigger, the thumb thing. But if you look right there, you see Rob, and uh, that's all there is to it. <laughs> he thinks he thinks that Sakana's going to appear. Actually, he does appear, but it's off screen. We never get to see it. I think. I mean, I could go back and do some research on that and you know, see if actually we do see Sakan and then he goes crazy. But I don't think we can enter that back there again. Oh well, doesn't matter. Alright, so, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and give this notice to Anju before uh, it becomes uh, 6 o'clock. Because we have to do it anytime between 3 and 6 today or tomorrow. You could also do it tomorrow. But I just want to do it today to get out the way before I go ahead and uh, talk to her grandmother to... Uh, um, put us to sleep again oh did you meet him and you show her the pendant <gasps> it's from Kafai. Th thank you very much you gave the pendant of memories to Andrew Kafai's strong feelings have been successfully passed along to his lovely fiance all right so that's that for now um, next up, we want to go ahead and go in here, talk to Angie's grandma. This is just, you don't have to do this, this is just another method of, um, sk skipping time. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? I want to hear the four giants. The four giants, is it? This is quite a long story, but it's a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. <clears throat> The Four Giants, the tale from long ago when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the Four Giants lived among them. On that day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the Giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One hundred steps north, one hundred steps south, one hundred steps east, one hundred steps west. Should you ever need us, should the mountain trap you, or the ocean swallow you up, call to us loud and clear. We shall hear your cry. And then he just goes to sleep. Oh, are you awake? I guess the start was a little too hard for Tortoise. But don't give up. Try again later. So yeah, we failed. Because we don't have a certain mask to um uh, do that one. So we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. But now what we want to do is uh, skip ahead a little bit more. And I'm not going to do her skip because I want to do this accurately. <clears throat> so we're going to go outside. And we're going to skip to, I think it's, um, for this one, I believe it's, uh, 3 p.m., so. Or 1. You know what? Let me just try again 1. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's try it again. So we're going to skip to 1, and we're going to run to, uh, the laundromat again, where we're going to meet... Mr. Curiosity Shop Owner. Because Kafai is no longer there. He met, he saw Sakon and he ran off to find him. Let me see. Is this the right time or not? Let's see. Is he back here? Is he? Yep, there he is. Huh, you're the green hat kid. I got a message from Kafai. Now, Kafai, I know him since he was a real little. But when he showed up looking all young in that little brat body, I didn't know I didn't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that Keaton mask that he was carrying for me to realize that I was looking at my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just a little Kafai. Didn't know he kept it that well for so long. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. And there you go. That's how you get the Keaton mask. If you follow what I did step by step from the first day, this is how you get it. Um, I'll show you what this does in a little bit too. Now, Kafai, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. And this is the important thing that we need. You were given a special delivery to Mama. This is priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it. 
a customer came to my shop last night. Now, Kafai sees him, and Kafai's color just changes, and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a regular, a greedy thief named Sakan. That piece of shit. <laughs> I think he's from Ikana Village. Which we're not going to go to right now. That's going to be post-game. Well, technically not post-game. I can do that at a later time. After we uh, beat Ikana Canyon. I mean, Ikana, th that whole area. After we do that, we'll, we'll uh, take care of that. Because we, um, I am doing a, a not uh, not 100%. I'm not getting all the um, heart, the heart things. The, the heart, you know what I'm trying to say, right? The, um, the heart, uh, uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Heart scales? God damn it. <laughs> I'm so into Pokemon right now, I can't even think. Ah, what was I about to do? Oh, right, okay. The, um, you know, the hearts. Level up heart, whatever. What am I trying to... I'm so f I'm so bad at Zelda right now, I can't remember what they were called. The hearts, you know, the hearts. We're not collecting heart pieces, heart pieces. Good gravy. Oh, it's bad. All right, so we're going to put on... Oh, we already have it equipped. So we're going to put on like a five mask. We're gonna go to talk to um, Mrs. Uh, what's her face? The one that gave us the Kefai mask. Oh dear, you're the one searching for Kefai. How is it? Have you found him? Nope. I mean, yep, and here's his letter. Oh dear, priority mail. This is from Kefai. Correct, correct? Wonderful, you really are an expert. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, it is your job after all. And just for doing that, you get the best item, well not the best item, but one of the number one upgrades in the game. It's called Chateau Romani. Drink it to replenish your magic power and make it everlasting. Swirl it around with your tongue and enjoy its flavor to the fullest. Its effects will last until you travel back in time. It's infinite magic! <laughs> it's infinite magic! No game that I can think of gives you something like this. Well, probably I haven't played, but uh, yeah. Something like infinite ammo? This is infinite magic, dude. You, you know I can do with that? Oh my god. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sorry. At this point in time, I can give you only something like this. Actually, I really wanted to give this to you sooner. Really. She's just depressed about, you know, the world ending and all that. Everybody's depressed. But that's what we're here for. We're here to stop depression and make everybody happy. And bring a dawn, a dawn of a new day. But yeah, we got our second bottle. So there's this bottle, and then there's this bottle of Chateau Romani. And I'm going to show you what Chateau Romani does. So, uh, what's a good, a good way to use all my magic? Hmm, I don't have, like, anything that uses magic besides my uh, transformation. But yeah. So, after you do that, uh, I mean, after you do all of that, you drink this, and your magic is infinite. It never, it never goes down. If you, you see, it's blue now. It never goes down. That's the power of Chateau Romani. It's amazing. It's like fucking, oh my goodness. But yeah, so, now that we have two bottles, we're actually going to go back in time once again. And we're gonna start over from scratch. All we needed was that second bottle, though. That's all that mattered. All right then. So that was only 33 minutes. That wasn't too bad, I suppose. But um, now I think we're we're good to go for um, Snowhead Temple. Now that we have a second bottle. That was like, I'm thinking like, that's probably the fastest way to get a bottle too. Like, not even kidding. The other way is you gotta do like, the milk road thing. And you gotta, I, I, I honestly forget how it goes. I forget. I don't have that bottle yet. I think you need the Garmin mask and we don't have the all the um, the transformations to do that. So it's it's gonna be a little, um, after after we do it kind of can, I mean after Zora Bay. Um, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? All right, the bottle. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go into that, get that on, and run this way. Leave me alone. Oh, this is so, well. It doesn't matter. We just need items. I need to show off my glorious sniping skills, man. <laughs> also, since we um turned on that owl statue, we don't have to um walk up to the uh, what you call it. 
But I still want to have some items, just so I have, you know, something to defend myself with. Alright. Is there another little grass patch around here somewhere? Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Dun, dun. Yes, I like it. Alright, I think I'm good now. Okay. Alright then, so. Let's go ahead and teleport up to, um. Teleport to, uh. Where are we going? The, uh, uh. Mountain, mountain Village, yep. Um, where is Tingo? Where, where? Oh, right, I know. Okay, I remember. Alright, now we're good to go. So, now that we've got two bottles, uh, let me just show you guys something real quick. This guy right here. Whoa, up here, up here. I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I'm very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. Sorry, guy. Don't have nothing for you. Talk to me later. <laughs> Just letting you know, he has a mask on his head that's also important to uh, collecting all the masks. Like I said earlier, I am doing an all-mask run and an all-stray uh, fairy run where I get all the upgrades. So, that that is important. We need that. Yeah, there we go. And the reason we needed um, Hot Wilda is because of that ice over there, for one reason. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Mm. Get some of that. And we are going to melt that because it's actually an easier way to get hot louder. But let's talk to Tingo real quick. <laughs> what up, Tingo? What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you be a chance to be a forest fairy? Oh my! Well, we, we've heard all this before. So yeah, we're just going to buy his um, uh, map of this area. Yippee! And now we know where we're going. <laughs> well, call again. Tingle, tingle, code in pa! Those are Tingle's magic words. Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. <laughs> of course not, buddy. We'll would never do that. Ah, oh, I got here. No, don't you follow me. Oh my god. Have you ever had a, a dog chase you to your home? Like, you know what? Let me not go there. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it, it's, it's, it's like, oh god, don't follow me. What are you doing? You try to cross the street and get rid of it because it's like hungry and looking for food and you're you're a human and it might you might have something on you that, that can help it out. But um what's this? Long peak shrine ahead. Watch your step, it's a long way down. It sure is. Whew. Holy shit. Oh boy. Yeah. Um hmm. Okay then. Let's talk to Kebora Gebora again. Woohoo! We meet again, fairy child. Have the stone statues been of any help? Uh, absolutely. Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over those Gorons around you. Uh, their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where nothing living can survive. Hmm, sounds like the Zora fucking domain that happened in the old game. You guys sure like your ice deaths, huh, Nintendo? <sighs> Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, and that's another story. So, will you proceed? Absolutely. Hoo-hoo! You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying towards that shrine across the way. So follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feeling guide you, and the truth path shall be opened before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. So, basically what he means is we have to get to that area over there, but as you saw, there's no way to get over there because there's nothing for us to walk on, or so you think. Crazy, huh? It's all invisible. One more, and here we go. Woohoo! I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now, enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. 
All right, see you, dude. Thanks, Gabora. That's actually one of the times he's actually useful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's nothing really in here except bombs, 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 and more bombs. Bombs galore, baby. Bombs galore. My God. All right. So yeah, we're gonna get this. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Is it a bomb arrow? No, it's actually the lens of truth. Gaze through it to see mysterious mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. And um, it also drains magic power, but if I had the Chateau Romani steel, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But regardless, we're going to equip it to... Um, actually, I'll equip it to the transformation. And uh, I'll make the um, bombs that. So, here we go. And that wasn't there before. Whoa! You mother Pfeiffer. Now check this out. You can't see it. Now you see me, now you don't. That's what the uh, Lens of Truth does. It reveals things that are normally invisible. Kind of like, you know, the invisible blocks in Mario World. Uh, but in this case, you could see it. Now, I'm going to plant some bombs around here. I think these are explodable. Yep, these are explodable. Okay. And there's more treasure chests. Which means more money. And more stuff. Yeah, stuff's always great. And one here. Nothing here. There. Okay, so that was the only one that had another hidden item. All right, then. Well, let me turn this off, and now we're gonna walk out here, and now we can see where we're going. Woo! That was a close jump. Wait, who's that? Was he there a second ago? Clearly, he was. You could see his shadow, but you couldn't see him. Now that we have the lens of truth, we can see him and talk to him. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. And that's exactly what we're going to do. This guy right here is um, the ghost of the spirit of um, Darmani. Uh, not the Darmani from Ocarina of Time. This is actually a descendant of that Darmani. Well, no. Uh... The, 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 the characters from Ocarina of Time aren't the same as in this game. This one is a descendant of the Darmani of the alternate Darmani from that game. So this is a completely different Darmani altogether. This isn't the, uh, uh, this isn't the, the alternate Termina Reality Darmani. This is a descendant of the alternate Termina Darmani. So, you, you get what I'm saying? I think you get what I'm saying. This isn't the same Darmani. Just as the Andrew isn't the same Andrew from the uh, other game as well. Even though she has the same model. This one actually has a... What the fuck? Yo, back up, son. <laughs> this dude was sliding. I've never seen that before. I didn't know they could do that. Slide along the ground like that. What the fuck? That's new. But anyway, yeah. You turn this back on. And uh, all we're doing is following him to his shrine. That's exactly what we're going to do. Whoa. Look at the... Uh, <laughs> the white wolf folks. It was like flat like a pancake. That was weird. All right, well, we're going to leave him alone. Get out of here. Out of here. here. So, yeah, you have to wait for him. You don't want to go and let him go ahead of you. I mean, you can't go ahead of him. You have to wait for him to stop, otherwise it won't work. And every time he looks at it, he's like, wow, he really can see me. Well, hopefully he'll be able to heal my soul or something. So that's basically what he's doing. He's, he's a lingering ghost, if you guys can't tell. Um, he, he's a lingering uh, void of the past, and something happened to him that where he uh, actually died. But now that we have the lens of truth, we can actually see where we're going, as you can see now. So, let's go ahead and hop along, shorty. And we're gonna go. Wait, let me just uh, make sure. Wait a minute. I'm going the right way. Okay, so it's up, right, right. No, up, right, left, right, and then up. Okay, got it. Whoops. No. So here we go. We're gonna go up and then right and then up and then. Left, you can still hear him. Well, now you can't hear him. And now we're gonna go right again, and that should be it, if I remember correctly. 
So yeah, right and then up. And that should be it. That should be good. We should be golden. Alright. Go. Yep, there we go. Alright. And there are these Gorons. See. This is the grave where a Goron hero rests. I came here to put a great put up the great hero's memorial, but the return route has been blocked by snow, and I can't make back to Goron Village. And even worse, my brother has been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this that make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the hero's grave. But the hot spring is now covered by the gravestone, and I can't make, move a gravestone that's big by myself. But I guess this is what they meant by the Goron saying, there's no use in crying over spilled rocks. <laughs> So, you know, that's um, a human saying there's no use in the crowd over spilled milk. There's a Goron version of that, oddly. <laughs> Strange, huh? But, uh, yeah, put it on one last time, and there he is. The soaring one said that the one who could see me would be arriving soon. He's talking about the owl. If it seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the Third. The blood of proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead! I was fine until I marched off the snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. I had been wreaking ha it had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village. Then the blizzard at snow had blew me into the valley, and now, here I am. How infuriating! As I am, I can only watch the Goron Village slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, can you use magic? The Soren one also told me that you were able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. It is, if, if it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. We cannot bring him back to life, but we can heal him with a certain song. Remember, guys? Wait a minute. The Song of Healing. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. Day to night, dark to light, fall the sands of time. Memories like the gears of a clock on wine. In your mind, walk through time, back to better days. Hit the dreams like a... Something washed tears away. I forgot how it goes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do the lyrics next time. But yeah, he was thinking to himself, now that he's freed of his sorrows, he wants me to use his mask, his strength, his power. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I have accomplished while living and car are carved on my grave. You should read it. And there we go. We got the second transformation mask. You got the Goron mask. This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Wear the mask to inhabit the body of a Goron. Take it off to return to normal. For the Goron village, I have asked for your assistance. And there you go. Let's equip that bad boy real quick. And now we're Goron Link. So, let's read this. what this says. The Goron hero Darmani III rests here. In honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of our fallen friend. Will you help? Uh, will you read the knowledge imparted by the hero? Absolutely. Oh, chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects without effort is mightier than the strength of any other, as your heart is strong too, and it is filled with a compassion that is kinder than any other. Goron heroes use A and blah 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 to make a curl up on a roll, whatever they need to go. If Gorons who possess magic power roll swiftly enough, spikes will emerge from the body so that they may mow down enemies. Water is disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep. Kind of like the guys in One Piece if they eat the forbidden fruit. <laughs> Beware. And uh, let's hear the other part. Techniques for battle. The powerful punch that Goron heroes unleash by pressing blah 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 is feared by all. By repeating so and so, Goron heroes will deal out barrage punches. And after using A to curl up, a Goron can jump with B and land with quaking impact so mighty it can fall at enemies. So, huh, ha, yeah! Huh, yeah! And we can also roll around. Riding dirty, baby. Riding dirty. You see that a little bit? Now we have the spike. Now we can mow down our enemies, but I don't want to waste all my magic. 
So what we need to do now is pull this back, revealing the hot spring water. Who the hell would put that over that, though? Like, you need the hot spring water. You can't just, like... Ugh, well, it doesn't matter. Alright, so... Let's, uh, pick this up. With both bottles. Yeah. And let's put the mask back on. I'm actually going to put the bottle right here. There we go. And now check out this response. <laughs> Watch this. You, you, you're no, no, you're not the great Darmani, are you? Then whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? <laughs> there used to be a hot spring bubbling beneath your grave, oh great Darmani. If I had some of that hot spring water, I may be able to thaw out my frozen brother. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh god, the model is clipping. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> there we go. Whew. Huh? What have I been doing? Oh, are you alright, brother? You were frozen, but the great Darmani saved you. The great Darmani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Darmani died not too long ago, and he was lying in this. Ah, Darmani! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> His response to the way I did it actually made me laugh. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I was shocked too, but somehow it seems the great Darmani isn't dead. Really? With all the Star of Hope of, with this, a Star of Hope appears over Goron Village. Great Darmani, please do something about the blizzard blowing in from Sohe. Isn't that how he died in the first place? You want him to do something again? Oh, you guys are picky. Anyway, but I am not Darmani, I'm Link. I'm Goron Link. Ah, oh, fuck. Oops. Hold on. I, uh, I need to put... There we go. More more hot water. Hot water! Skull, baby! Let's go! Alright. So, you guys want to know what happens when a rock falls into water? Check this out. Oh no! Oh, I actually made it. Oh, whoop, never mind. <laughs> That's what happens. You immediately die. You don't even lose hearts. That's the best part. You just you just die and teleport back to where you were. But uh, yeah. So, whoop, whoops. Wait a minute. Let me get the. There we go. We're gonna dive into the water. Not. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there <laughs> until the very last second. Oh, that's terrible. But yeah, normally you can dive right into the water. Oh, and remember these boulders? You can now break them apart with your mighty Goron Rock fist nipples. I mean, uh, rocks and hand. Anyway, super strength. And fuck those tech tikes too. Um, we want to actually speed it up a little bit though. So, let me go ahead and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll any time now. There we go. And uh, just pass through all of that and go right here. And put this right here. And this reveals a shortcut. Well, technically. Another hot spring location. Yay! So now we don't have to waste our time going all the way back to the grave every time. Well, we could just go here. Yeah. Now, I don't know how it got, like, non-hot springed. Because, you know, with the fucking thing and all. You'd think with the hot spring water. Wait, really? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's okay. I'm just doing this just to see what's down here. I don't know if this is a piece of heart or not, or just more money. Money's always good, though, so it's good. Apparently, it's good enough for Deku Babas to thrive down here. And we all know Deku Babas can't thrive in hot locations. So, I guess this water is good enough for them. Not too hot, not too cold. Okay, that was, that was the regular water. So, yeah. Now we're going to take the hot water. And boom. Okay, so there's nothing there either. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And switch to Goron Link again. And now, we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna actually go ahead and enter Goron Village. Uh, as soon as I... Wait, wait, wait. What's this guy gonna say? You're a Darmani. How? You're alive? Do you want to enter the Goron Shrine? Yep. Then I'll open the door with the Goron Pound. I'm going to close it right away so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? And that's how you get in. 
Actually, you don't need to talk to him. You can do it yourself. The door's already open. I'm going to close it right away, so hurry up. And that's how you get in. You just need to do a Goron Pound. And this is the Goron Shrine. You hear that crying? Everybody hates it. <laughs> it's not, at least it's not as bad as the um, baby in uh, Mario and Legend of Zelda. Oh, fuck. Uh, the, 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 ah! Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. <laughs> I'm so bad today. Alright, so we're going to skip everybody and go right to the baby. Because I know what everybody's going to say. They're going to be like, hey, Darmani, you're alive, you're alive. And, but we're going to talk to the baby. What? What? Daddy, daddy. It's cold, daddy. Uh, uh, Darmani, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? And he's just going to keep crying. So I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit. I'm not going to do any of the... Uh, normally how you would find out about this stuff is... Uh, oh, crap. Well, I have another one, though. That's fine. So... And it's right up the way anyway. So as soon as we spin out here. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Also, yeah, this is fidgety. Especially if you don't uh, time it right. Oh, I do need to melt that actually. But I don't need to do it right now. Uh, Alright. Yeah, hide in the ice. I will never figure that out. Whatever. Alright, cool. Alright, great. Both of them fucking melted. That's just fucking Pichy King. Alright, well, you know what? Let me just get rid of both of these then. It's so cold that the spring water melts instantly, dude. It's sad. Actually, I'm gonna get that over the, the little edge there. Let me see. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> it falls so slowly, too. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, but yeah, we're gonna go back down here, get some more of that deliciousness. And we're gonna talk to that Orgorn that you might not have noticed when I passed him up while I was doing a spin dash earlier. That is actually the little kid's um, father. I don't know if I need two of these though, but I'm just gonna take it just in case. Alright then. So, we're gonna go right over here, and let's see what this says. Wait a minute. Whoa, he's frozen solid. Wow. He's one ancient Goron, isn't he? It's true. But we're going to melt him real quick because he's got important information for us. Oof. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, oh, it's already this late. Step aside. I have urgent business to tend to, so I'm, so I'm too busy to talk. Well, I'd have to tell you something. Huh? Oh, you're a Darmani, but you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of the stone tide's magic power. Hmm, <laughs> I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. I need to fix the blast of weather that's plagued Snowhead. I must save the Goron village and protect my dear son. So please, if you insist that you get out of the way this instant. But your son is worried about you, son! What? My son is crying because he misses me. Yeah, he's been crying all day and they can't stand it. Why do you know that? Because I just talked to him. My son misses me. Oh, but forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination. I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I'm about to play on my drum. If you guys didn't notice this, this, is, this guy is basically the chieftain of the village. His son is basically the heir, the next, you know, person in charge, so they kind of treat him like royalty. And Darmani is the great hero of the Goron village, kind of like Link. But, uh, yeah, that's how, this is how this is going, so it's kind of important. But anyway, <clears throat> it is the very same melody that was once often played for you when you were young. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? <laughs> that drum. Huh? Let me play it once more. How does the song go? Uh, um. Ah, yes, yes, like this. Uh, it's no good. I can't remember only the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. So let's bring out our drums. L Y X L Y X. You learned the the, the lullaby intro. Dun, 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 
this isn't the beginning. I mean, this isn't the whole song. This is just the beginning. You learned the lullaby intro, the soothing melody of a thoughtful father. I'm not, it's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I'm counting on you. So, that's all we had to do. Um, you could technically talk to him first and then talk to the kid, but it makes more sense to talk to the kid first and then talk to him, because if you talk to him first, he'll just try and get up the hill and freeze himself. He'll literally freeze right in front of your face. <laughs> Just like he was before we unthawed him. So, uh, what I'm going to do real quick, uh, hopefully I have enough time to do this. Let me see. Uh, can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it melt. Alright, there we go. Okay, that's too big for um hot fire. So, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, I mean, hot water. Hot fire super hot fire but yeah let's go ahead and get in here and now we're in the Goron Shrine again but now that we have half the song we're gonna play the drums for the kid and hopefully that'll put his ass to sleep and guess what happens next That song, that's the song Daddy always plays from before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. He knows the song. This is adorable, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. That's how the song goes. It's literally just Y R after Y L after that. I still like the song though. The Goron's Lullaby. Nighty night. This is adorable, by the way. I love this. It kind of re honestly reminds me of me and my father. For real, I'm not even kidding. My father was a DJ, and he would always play, play certain songs for me when I go to sleep, too. And that's it. <sighs> a Goron Chief. A Goron Grief. If you play, you play the Goron Lullaby at the Goron Shrine and help the Elder's son fall asleep, that also lit up two torches. But it also put everybody else to sleep. <laughs> See, he's like, Ugh. that's why he almost tripped. It's like you know, a little anime thing, like, Ugh. all right. But yeah, um, now what we're gonna do is the other part, and we're gonna get the uh, the mask, the um, the mask that I told you earlier about, the frog mask that the guy needs. Uh, he's hungry for food for. So uh, let me see if I remember this correctly. Um, okay, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna take the. Uh, what you call it here? Equip that. Um, we're gonna go right here and right here, and let's keep it moving. So we're gonna go to this one and this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one here, and this one here, and the last one. I can't believe that I did it in one run, too. I did it perfectly. That's literally what you have to do. You really want to turn on the, uh, this, you need the bunny hood in order to pull that off. If you don't have the bunny hood, it's not going to work. It's, you're not going to be able to make it. But, uh, yeah. After you do that, you just, uh, put that away. Uh, what you need to do now, the reason this is turning left and right, if you talk to that guy right there, that one right where Link's head is, he'll tell you I, I hit some food because, um, it's a, a shortage right now, and we need food. But uh, I've been selfish about it. Is this icy? What the hell? Okay. So what we're gonna do now, since this is icy, we can now spin into one of these and see if the uh, rocks are shit. <laughs> Damn it! I can't believe I missed that. 
Alright, but yeah, we need magic for this. Uh, this card is kind of a little tedious because um, it's it's still to complete the, you know, get all the masks. But uh, just give me a second here. Even with all that spinning, the kid still stays asleep, but everybody else wakes up. I love that. Alright, let's get it now. Hey! Okay, that's not where the. Oh, shit. I almost went into the shop. Down there is just the shop. Uh, it's just a Goron shop where they sell, like, uh, potions and stuff. Nothing nothing very special. Unless you need, like, um, I don't know, fucking potions or something. Alright, let's try this again. Actually, I'm just gonna do it from right here. This should be. Yeah, this yeah, this is smooth enough for me to pull it off. Alright. Eh? Is it in here? Yeah, I found it! Alright, cool. Now, what you're gonna do is take this rock sirloin. As soon as the uh, Bomber Notebook updates. Hey, dude. Alright. So now you're gonna take this rock sewer line. You literally have to hold it all the way out the door. You're gonna walk out the door. And you're gonna have to go around. You actually can't take the shortcut because you'll slide. So you have to go around. You know what it looks like, right? It looks like a big piece of uh, meat. It looks like... It looks like... What's what's the word I'm looking for? It's not it's not I think it's like a pork pork yeah but like a pork sore loin. Like a you know like a big old piece of meat. Just a big old piece of meat with a bone on it. Uh ooh, excuse me. <coughs> oh god, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. That was bad. I shouldn't have told you guys that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am sorry I disgusted you for a second there. Ah Shit. <coughs> what is that? Oh I know what that is. Ugh, that's disgusting. A little bit of my breakfast came back. That's no good. All right. Oh, fuck. Ugh. <coughs> you know when you throw up, and it's like you can feel the roughness in your throat from the throw up. And it kind of hurts when you go. <coughs> it hurts. Like. Ugh. Okay, I need to stop being disgusted. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh God. <laughs> Now, I know what Aaron feels like, you know, Aaron from Game Grumps. He always burps and shit, and he ugh, threw up in his mouth <laughs> a couple times, I think. But, yeah, if you just follow that path like what I did, this is actually a whole lot easier with the C-Stick, too. You guys should definitely invest into a new Nintendo 3DS XL or a CirclePad Pro XL slash CirclePad Pro for your 3DS slash 3DS XL. Or if you get a new 3DS XL, you don't have to even worry about it. But regardless, let's go ahead and give this money, this, this fool some food. That's it! That's so good to dream about it. It's so good that I dreamed about it. The Dongo Cavern's finest quality rock sirloin. This is my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down. Wait one moment. All you have to do is fucking roll! <laughs> you could have just came down, you little bitch. Whatever. Oh, I wonder who it might be. What if it isn't Darmani? You're still alive, huh? Yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. The Don Gero Mask. It looks just like Don Gero, conductor of the Frog Choir. I was crafted. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice that you were conducting the Frog Choir. Mm-hmm. Don Gero is um not a person we meet, by the way. So don't worry about that. But yeah, we got the mask. Woohoo! I hope the spring will come soon so that I can give hear the frogs lively performance. Hope as I might though, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. See you later. Don't worry, guys. We'll do something about the spring. I mean, not you guys. I'm talking about the Gorons. But yeah. All right. I think that's good enough. So let me uh just uh get out of full screen here. Where where, where are we at? An hour and eight minutes. Okay, fine. Um. One one last part. One last part. We're gonna show you um, the road to Snowhead, basically. <clears throat> oh God, it's still in my throat. Mm. Uh, this is really specific, so you gotta time this right. Whoop! There you go. And you just go through here, roll through all these things. Ah, oh, feels so good to be a gangster. Just being able to roll through everything like it, just not giving a damn. It's so amazing. All right, so here we are at Snowfall Temple, Snowhead Temple. Excuse me, I always get those confused. You see that gust right there? That's actually a giant Goron. Check this out, because Tattoo will actually tell you first. Watch this. What's that? There's something in the middle of the blizzard. Can you see it? Nope. Oh shit! <laughs> and that's exactly how Darmani died. I'm 
pretty sure that is this is impossible. We can't get across the blitter. I blame that guy over there. What? You can't see him? Before we try again, don't you find some way of dealing with that blowhard? <laughs> blowhard. <laughs> so check this out. It's a giant Goron. Being a piece of shit. <laughs> but uh, what we're going to do here is play the Goron lullaby and lull him to sleep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, go to sleep. And then he appears also. Like, mm. 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 Nighty night. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> no, he's not dead. He's too big to die. He Literally, he's too big to die. But yeah, that's how you get in there. So, let's go ahead and save. And that's going to be the end of this part. Alright, so, that's all I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In the next part, we're actually going to take on the whole temple. We're going to get the stray fairies. We're going to get the items. We're going to do everything. We're going to be the boss. And we're going to do everything. And then afterwards, we'll um, do some more side quests. I'm going to get the sword upgrade and uh, probably some more masks. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, let's plays, Wi Fi battles, weeks of streams, all that good jazz. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Meverse, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next part. B2J135 signing out. Stay warm. Deuces.